Hi, I'm Blake and we're going to walk through the activation or the attaching of your custom geometry with the Maya performance rig that comes with each Auto 3D avatar. So here's the download zip file and so I just I unzip it and there here's the readme that explains what I'm about to show you. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, so in this directory is the Maya scene structure. So here in Maya, I set my project to be that location. And now I can open my scene. We'll choose the uh, 2012 version. And here it has loaded a generic mannequin face. Okay, so it's got the rig and everything on it the way we want. And now we go to the OBJ directory and we just drag and drop the geometry right into the scene. Okay, there's the new geometry. And now I can just take this slide it over to the side and you can kind of see that that is definitely shaped different than that and so now we say auto 3d avatar connect and that pops this window with the custom geometry selected I hit the load button and now I say connect and now you'll notice that this geometry now shifted. It uh, took on the uh, shape of our custom geometry. Now we can hide that guy and we can turn on our texturing. And there we have our avatar. And this is Nancy, our spokes model. And uh, as we can see over here, We've got a bunch of uh, expression controls and foaming controls and uh, lips, extensive tongue controls, uh, open and close the mouth, Meh. open our mouth a little bit. You can see inside, we've got a nice inner mouth geometry in there. Give everybody nice perfect teeth. I'm sure some people will like that. And then, of course, you know, eyes, eyebrows, adjustments, and things like that. But in general, at this point, you're pretty much ready to go. Oops. And there we go. There's Nancy. And that's it. At this point, it's up to your animation skills.